Hello everybody, welcome to Japaniku 1.5 preparation vlog 2 Did I say that right? I have no clue But all those words, whatever order I said them in Oh my god, guys, I'm having like <laughs> Not like a bad day, but not a really good day either And I was supposed to film this yesterday, but yesterday I had like the world's biggest pimple Which I still have, but I think it's a little better today, so I've been putting it off And today I'm just not having- I'm just having one of those days So I'm not feeling very cute, I'm not feeling very like peppy and happy Which is why I'm wearing this bunny hat thing Um <laughs> That you might have recognized from one of those really old vlogs I used to do Just like to give me motivation and keep me smiling and uh, yeah I'm gonna do my best to stay motivated and not ramble on for too long So first things first, I have started the uh, umbrella poll I started it yesterday, I forgot to... well since I was supposed to film yesterday and then didn't Here is... Here are the options and how it went down. I can just totally see that pimple. Uh, bad skin day. Everybody has bad skin days. If you're in the same situation as me, I feel ya because it sucks when you just got like this big thing in the middle of your face. Anyway, I hope uh, I managed to put it here. What happened and I put on the uh, second round of options. Yeah, 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 hopefully you can see it, that one, and yeah, those are the remaining options, and tomorrow we'll, we shall have our results. Also, while I'm on my Instagram, um, I just tweeted that I um, dropped the prices on my Etsy store, every original piece of art from Inktober on my Etsy store, I've dropped the prices way down, like almost 40% down I think, uh, and those are like the Christmas prices, but I'm just gonna leave those prices on sale until those listings are expired. When the listings are expired, I will just um, not be selling them anymore, I guess. I mean, I've never, this is like my first time running an Etsy store, but I'm guessing that if they don't really sell the first time, there's no point in trying to sell them a second time. I don't know, I'm not a business person. Anyway, umbrella poll is going on. Very happy about that. Um, I've also been reading a lot and watching videos about what I could be doing this time in Japan. I do not have as many days as I thought I did. I uh, told you about that last time. I counted everything but including the travel days I am losing like a day a day and a half so it's a much well not much shorter but I don't know it's a little shorter regardless so I am hesitant to either take it easy chill stay in Tokyo or visit the surrounding cities which I have watched I, I read about them I watch videos and I'm really tempted to do them um, Nico is one of them, uh, Yo Yokohama, um, Kamakura, Enoshima, I think those are the main ones that were really interesting and uh, a possibility. The only thing is, I mean, I mean, I guess Yokohama and Kamakura are possible day trips, sorry about my phone, are possible day trips, uh, I can like have like a place to sleep in in Tokyo and then just like go back and forth to visit other cities. Nikko is a little bit trickier. I think it's two hours away so I would have to like take all my stuff and go to Nikko but I saw a vlog of Nikko during the winter time and it's so tempting. Guys, I don't know what to do. You get, you have to help me out. I don't want to like stuff my days and stress myself out and at the same time I want to see so much. I don't know. I, I need to find the right balance. So that is what I am doing at the moment uh, is deciding. Ex I need to decide like ASAP if I'm going to go visit those other towns. So I'm interested to know what you guys think. Hopefully you can give me a bit of insight. I don't know if you guys can take me seriously with this thing on, but uh, honestly, I think I need it. I need like a big hug right now. Um, so exactly what I've been doing is, uh, so far I've divided, like the same thing as last time, I've divided Tokyo into areas like uh, Marunochi, Ginza, Roppongi, uh, I'm just skipping some, but you know like Shibuya, Harajuku, Shinjuku, like per page. And then 
below i've divided it into like things to see foods i want to eat and uh, shopping areas so i'm writing down the things that i'm interested in doing eventually some things i've already seen some things i haven't seen yet and then um, i'm also writing down the price if it's free what uh, if not how much i would need to pay and also how to get there that's something i did last time it really saved me to write down which line i could take but most importantly write down the exit you will have to take when you leave the metro because oh my goodness if you haven't traveled to japan yet there are so many exits and sometimes you take an exit and it's like the other uh, like completely the other side of where you need to be so check your exits guys check your exits so that's what i've been doing but right now i'm at a standstill because i have written down most of what i want to do in tokyo uh, well i mean the options not i don't know exactly what i want to do but like the i brainstormed <laughs> jeez i brainstormed what i want to do in tokyo and now i'm like i need to choose a place to stay Am I staying the whole time in Tokyo and then like doing day trips or do I need to figure out multiple places to stay? What am I doing? Oh my god, my cat just found like his toy which is gonna be loud. So yeah, stand still. Uh, what else? I started also writing down like on a random piece of paper, I will have to put that in my travel journal soon, like random things that I haven't done last time that I kind of want to do but I don't know where or what and I want to research the best places to do it and it's like really random because I haven't had omurais last time and I want to have omurais I haven't had okonomiyaki well I had okonomiyaki on a stick but you're gonna tell me it's not the same thing I haven't had uh, oh no, lighting change no, come on, how is that possible? The sky is like cloudless. Um, okonomiyaki, uh, kare, I haven't had kare. I don't, I don't really like curry, but I mean, Japanese curry, everybody talks about it. Uh, nabe, because I'm going there during the winter time. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find soft ice because, I mean, not in season, but everybody talks about Japanese soft ice. How are the all these are like all food related, obviously, because that's just what the main thing I'm gonna be doing. And also the only non-food related thing I wrote down is karaoke. I wanna try a Japanese karaoke, but I don't wanna do it alone. So I wrote it down in case like I meet people there who are doing karaoke, who knows? I just want the experience, but I don't want to do it alone. It's like the purikura thing. I did it alone last time, but I just felt so dumb doing it. It wasn't even worth it. I mean I'm happy to have like the stickers and everything, but honestly not really worth doing alone in my opinion i mean you do you okay um rambling on forever but these like are the main points that i want to say for this video the main thing is that i wanted to tell you that the umbrella thing happened i hope you joined and that you're enjoying it because i'm really having fun seeing what you guys choose and uh telling you what i'm doing now which i just did writing down and that i'm stuck and that i need your help i need your help <laughs> budget wise it's going well um it's gonna be tight i know it's gonna be tight this is why i'm all this is why i'm also stuck with the whole uh staying outside of tokyo because it's gonna be tight guys it's gonna be it's gonna be tight uh, so anybody who wants to help out and buy a piece of art you're welcome to do so because yeah it's gonna be tight uh I think that's it. The only things I still need to say will be tomorrow when I decide, well, when you decide which umbrella I'm taking, when I go buy it either tomorrow or after tomorrow and reveal it to you. And I think that's all for like the chatter. I should like turn this way so you don't see like my huge pimple. <sighs> can you, can you like feel the mood I'm in kind of? Can you like, mm. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. I hope, I, I hope it's not like coming a like through your screen and infecting you I hug okay um i think that's it well and uh see you on the next segment <laughs> and we have a winner guys do we have a recurring theme or what because this is the notebook you cho chose for me last week and this is my new umbrella oh great big what is that okay great big uh, 
label there. I just opened an umbrella in my apartment here. It's actually, uh, well, for the superstitious, it brings bad luck. So hopefully I'm immune to that because you guys got me the best umbrella ever and the best notebook ever. And I don't have anything else for you guys to pick out yet. So uh, this will probably be a little break. Also a little break for my wallet because this umbrella, I don't know, everything feels expensive to me these days, but this felt not cheap. But yeah, look, I have an umbrella and I'm gonna insert right now the clip of me seeing the results But keep in mind that I'm not, <laughs> not in the best of moods because it was early in the morning and well, you'll see Hey guys, well as you can see, it's morning I'm not showing my face because I'm still in my PJs I know, technically at this time I'm at the gym But um, you know from the last clip I wasn't really feeling like myself and it just got worse to what towards the end of the week and I'm having a really bad mental health day so I'm gonna get a grip but uh, before the thingamabob expires I'm gonna show you the results um, there you go here's my are my insta stories yay <laughs> I, need, I would need a new journal right now that's from yesterday always did a little drawing before bye bye strawberry umbrella and Look at that, so close, so close guys. I mean, I think one person would make a difference at this point. Uh, if someone voted for the um, for the cloud one in the next, like, um, I don't know, I think there's like one hour left, not even. It would like be 50-50, which is crazy. Thank you all for voting. Um, I don't think there's anything interesting in my stories. Yeah, I hope it will still be there when I go buy it, hopefully today. Uh, this is where I, I just showed a part of my of my vlog where the strawberry strawberry umbrella dies. <laughs> if you want to see it, it still makes me laugh. Episode thirteen of the very first Depanika series, and uh, yeah, we reached uh, five eighty subscribers. I can't think, guys. I can't speak. Not having the best morning, not gonna lie, but the thing was about to expire, so I wanted to show you. Welcome back, and I'm still holding this umbrella. I really like it. It looks like I'm in a starry night. The only thing is that if I do walk with it during the nighttime, I don't know how it will look on camera. It's, it won't be as bright as my beautiful, shut up, my beautiful big uh, strawberry one, but da 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 da. I hope also it's a little more sturdy, but I don't know. I think it's kind of the same as the umbrella one, so if there's too much wind... Okay, close please, thank you. If there's too much wind, I don't know how it will hold. Was I wearing this jumper at the start of this video with a, a completely other clip and I'm wearing it again today? I have a feeling this was the same jumper. Sorry, never mind. But my pimple has started healing. <laughs> <laughs> boring stuff but, but yeah i think that's all i'm sorry i'm stretching this out so long but i have a feeling i had something else to say i can't remember what though uh if you guys think of other things i need for this trip that you could help like pick it out for me let me know but i think those were like the two main things uh what was it things i still needed to buy like camera stuff I should try and buy like one of those fluffy things that you stick on the top of the G7X, like the wind thing, but I can't find anywhere, so if you guys know where to buy it, maybe you could let me know. I should buy some more SD card. I should buy another camera battery, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm getting really nervous, <laughs> but yeah. I need to chill out. I need to chill out about this, because this is fun. This is an adventure. I need to stop worrying. Anyway. I'll see you in the next video whenever that is. I know these are chatty and a bit random, but it's like kind of like a diary, like preparation for Depaniku 1.5. Um, yeah, thank you guys for your support. I saw you on uh, on social media, on Instagram and on, on Twitter. It really makes me happy to talk to you on there also and uh, on my live streams. It really makes me happy to feel supported by you guys. So thank you very much. All links down below uh, to how you can support me on this trip, uh, my website, my shops, uh, my social media. Please join me. It really makes me happy to have you guys with me. It's a solo trip, but I know that I have my little seedlings with me. <laughs> that was really corny. Cool and CD. Oh, seedling CD. Jeez, I need to go. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye bye. I'll word you all.